Good evening everybody and welcome to the video. This video essentially I'll be teaching you how to create a DynamoDB table in serverless framework. So essentially I made a lot of tutorials on DynamoDB. We learned about GSI, LSI, PynamoDB. We did some you know labs here and there. We learned how to set up a GSI on the DynamoDB and so on, right? This video I want to show you how you can create table through a serverless framework, right? So let's get started with the video. This would be a short, sweet and to the point video, okay? Organization, I'm putting in an org name, app name, service name, whatever you want to give and my framework version. I'm using serverless version 3. Uh, provider is AWS. This means that I'm going to, you know, you know, put the resources on my AWS account. Now I'm going to use a cloud formation syntax resource because I want to create a resource and then I'm essentially creating a resource object, right? I'm saying I want to create a resource object. So first is resource and then again resource. Then you need to define, you know, the name of the resource. My resource name is my table, right? Then I'm saying that type is going to be AWS colon colon DynamoDB colon colon table, which means it tells that it's a DynamoDB table, okay? Then each one have, will have a properties, which I'll cover in a second. So we define the table name, right? We called it my table. We can call it whatever we want. And then we have attribute definition. These are essentially, if you know what attributes you're gonna expect, right? Or in the schema, you could essentially provide that, right? Essentially, that's what it is, right? So I'm saying that I know that it's gonna be an email. It's gonna be a string. User ID, that's gonna be string. I define my attribute definition. I'm defining that, right? Then I have a key schema. Remember, Dynamo has two things. Remember, partition key and sort key or hash key and range key. Same thing, different names, right? So I'm saying that my email address is going to be my hash key, which means that's my primary key or my, you know, partition key, whatever you want to call. My sort key is essentially going to be a user ID. I'm defining that, right? So I'm saying attribute name, user ID, key type range, which I'm saying that, hey, it's a sort key. Collapsing that. Uh, provision throughput, which means how many WCUs and RCUs you want, right? I'm defining one and one. Uh, you can also leave it to auto scaling, right? And at the end, very simple, I'm having a tag, you know, whatever, how many of tags you have, you can keep adding tags here, right? So I'll say, right? So you could add as many tags as you want, right? I, I'll add one more. All right, so once that is done, once you're ready, now come to your console and use the magic word SLS deploy. So we'll say SLS deploy. And then we'll wait for uh, this to create. So let's wait. Oh, I think, did you mean, oh, I think I have a spelling mistake. My bad. Oh yeah, I had an extra P there. <laughs> so I just saw that. All right, so with that magic word, hopefully it should deploy or create my resource, which is very simple, a Dynamo table, right? We can, you know, as I said, guys, you can essentially build an entire stack with this, right? You could uh, do a lot, a, lot, a lot more, right? So that's that. Then in the next video, we'll explore more about Dynamo streams, DAX, right? So all that stuff, you know, we'll, 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 we'll you know, learn bits and pieces here and there, okay? So... That's updating. Should be done in a second or two. And there you go, it's completed. Heading over back, expanding this here. And sure enough, I have my table here. As you can see, active. Email is a partition. User ID is a sort key. I haven't have any indexes, right? So I put it to a provisional, which means I am specifying how many WCUs or RCUs. You can also set it to auto scaling. Um, I wanna show you something really, really amazing. Um, there are beautiful lot of plugins here. So where was that? I saw that. I think it was somewhere on the bottom section. Ah, uh, come on. Where are you? Uh, wait, I think it was on the top because there are so many plugins. Also, the you know a lot of uh, people has developed. Oh, here, DynamoDB auto scaling plugin, serverless DynamoDB local, which means if you are working locally, serverless plugin, offline DynamoDB streams. 
serverless create global dynamo db table these are all plugins right if you come here developer has wrote the source code you could do with yarn or simple npn in put the uh, plugin there and you could define things like this very very easy right a lot of plugins are there come here explore more i'll leave the link in the description thank you so very much for watching hope you have enjoyed this small walkthrough and if you have question your question list your question in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video